Today, I'm going to show you a DIY version of Zeus on the loose we'll call Up and Down the Mountain. With a regular deck of playing cards or a deck of Uno number cards and a handy toy or figurine. We love to keep our learning abacus handy to visualize that 100 steps. If you are past the abacus, you can move on to keeping track of where you are, either on a score sheet or a running number amongst the players. Hi, I'm Leanne and I want to inspire families to learn through playing games. So if this is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. Let's get started. So we shuffle the deck and deal four cards to each player. The rest of the cards form the draw pile in the center. On a turn, a player plays a card from their hand onto the discard pile. Henceforth, we're going to call this Mount Olympus. Players then add that number to the previous Mount Olympus total. At the end of their turn, players draw their hand back up to four and play passes on to the next one. So here, if Mount Olympus is at 37 and I play a two, it goes to 39. Here's where you could add that to the running count on your score sheet for some extra mental math. If you are wondering how we just added that extra mental math step into the game, check out the video in-game mental math at the end of this video or in the description box below. The reverse card will play the same action as the Hermes card in the original Zeus on the Loose game, which is to reverse the mountain's digits. So 67 will become 76. You could also continue to implement the same number sneak in the game. Anytime an opponent plays a card that matches one in your hand, you may play the match and steal the toy, even if it isn't a multiple of 10. Players grab the toy anytime they play a card that brings Mount Olympus total to a multiple of 10 or plays the same number sneak. In our game, we make a tally mark each time we win the toy. If the draw power runs out, just reshuffle and continue. Unlike Zeus on the Loose that goes up Mount Olympus, we play this game to also come down the mountain. This way, we have both addition and subtraction practice. So starting from 100 or just past it, depending on where you ended going up, a player plays a card from their hand, but now subtracts that number from Mount Olympus. So here I've played a four and Mount Olympus goes from 100 to 96. The game ends when we have reached the bottom of the mountain and the player who has had the most tallies of winning the toy wins the game. If this is your first time hearing about Zeus on the Loose, you can check out the videos on the original game that we have covered and how to use it for addition and subtraction down on the description box below or at the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you get a chance to try this game and I will see you in the next one. Yay!